So today I'm going to be using some online tools to create some 3D depth AI images. I'm just going to type in a couple of prompts and it's going to generate some fantastic images. So stick around guys and we'll show you exactly how we make these AI images completely free of charge and then we will edit them slightly just to get them ready to engrave on these pieces of slate. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the video guys. All the links to the websites I will be using below. So check them out and uh, we'll do it together. Right, so now I'm going to show you exactly how you can actually use different websites to create different types of like AI generated images. Now there's a certain prompt I do like to use when creating these types of images for engraving just so I can get lots of different details in there like that. And so there's lots of different websites to do it. But my favorite one to use is StableDiffusionWeb.com. So when you open this site, you'll have a page like this. So if you want to go into where you put your prompt in, there's quite a few ads, so try and ignore them. You can sign up to this website, but if you do log in with like a Google account, it'll give you 10 free credits a day. Now, if you've got lots of different email addresses, you can basically use every single one to get 10 free credits every time. I've not actually signed up for this myself. I just... I've just been using the free credits. And so they've got a couple of examples down here. So we'll put something in your uh, Batman, Batman's head. So the reason why I like Stable Diffusion more than you know all the other ones, like most other ones will ask you just to put a prompt in and it'll just generate an image of what you put in the prompt. Stable Diffusion, they give you different types of styles that you can use. So if I drop that down, there's loads of different styles you can use. You can even load up an image and you can convert that to a different type of style, remove backgrounds. Um, there's lots of different things you can do and you can edit anything where if you've got a photo of yourself where you want to add like a, a cowboy hat to your head, you can do that. There's loads of different things you can do. As I said, everything will cost a credit. You can buy more credits, but as you can see there, they reset every 24 hours. You get 10 free a day. I'll show you a couple of images I've been working with here today, just messing around. As you can see, they're all like wood carving type images, just messing with different things. So here's one here, uh, 10 points for anybody who can guess who that is. Put it down in the comments. Obviously, that one's Spider-Man. Tried a few different skull ones. But if you go back to the, the front page, so stablediffusionweb.com, got a prompt database. Now, this will show you ones that people have been creating themselves. God knows what people are looking at when they're creating these. These are not ones I've created. Let's go. You can put something in your like laser engraving, wood carving, whatever type of thing you're looking for. So let's go wood carving. And you'll see there are quite a few good images you can use for laser engraving. So if we scroll down, like this one, for example, the prompt they've used there is just wood board texture. So you can copy that prompt and make it into your own, and it'll show you there the style they use, which is the Rococo, which is that one there, which is the one I use as well. Oh, we can keep going. There was a nice mask one in here, which is the one I've copied for creating those masks. And it is... The thing is, this updates all the time. When people are doing their own, it's just going to keep constantly updating. So if you find one... Try and make note of it because it could move further and further down. Um, there it is. So I liked the look of this. This is the type of style I wanted to go for. So I just copy that prompt and it's the Rococo style. So we can go over here and I can copy that into there. So with this being AI, I can generate image after image after image using that same prompt and it'll be different every single time. But listen, you've got lots of different types of styles you can do here. I've got four credits left, so I'm going to show you. Um, wooden mask. I'll say a wooden Batman mask made of dark wood. Um, let's remove the rest of that. I'll keep it nice and simple like that. Wooden Batman mask. Let's this say a carved wooden Batman mask made of dark wood. We'll go with the Rococo style and just generate. It takes a couple of seconds to do. As you can see, if you upgrade, they'll get priority, but it doesn't take long at all on the free plan. Okay, not what I was expecting at all, but that's pretty cool. But again, you can take that to something like Photoshop or Imager, convert it to black and white, 
Uh, you can also put in there no background, but I always find it doesn't always tend to work very well. So I use Photo Room. Again, I'll put a link down in the description to remove backgrounds. And it does a fantastic job of removing any backgrounds from any like complex image. But again, say you weren't 100% happy with that, but you couldn't think of another prompt to put in there. You can like, remove any sort of style. We'll go, go cinematic. And I'll generate the exact same prompt again. And the image will be completely different because it's a different style. But like I said, because it's AI, it'll always be different every single time. Okay, so I mean, that doesn't really look like a carved wooden one. But again, it is something you can use. And let's try one more. Let's go. Let's just go photography. See what that one looks like. With the exact same prompt. Look at that, you can put in anything you want. You can put in celebrities' names, you can put in different animals, and you'll get the result of that every single time. And like I said, it'll always be different. So whatever you create will not be the same as anybody else's. Again, not completely happy with that, but it can still be used. Let's just download this. And we'll go into photoroom.com. And this is on the AI background remover. Start from a photo. Um, shoo, it'll be, what's the one I just downloaded? That one. It's just going to remove the background for me. And then you can download that, take that to Photoshop, turn it black and gray, invert it, and then engrave it on Slate, which is what I'm going to be doing. Right, so here is one I created earlier. This is the one I'm going to engrave on a Slate coaster. It is made up of three different... Uh, AI generated images. So I've done the the wood carving around there. So all I typed in there, I believe, was a carved wooden border or frame, sorry, I think I used for that. And that gave me that. And then I went for a carved wooden carved Batman. So I popped that in there, but then I thought I've got to add a background. So I just typed in carved wooden brick wall, which it just gave me a brick wall, which I just popped into the back. So I put those three layers there, converted it to black and white which in Photoshop is very easy. You just got image adjustments, black and white. And then you can adjust the sliders. I've already done it, so it's not going to work. You can adjust the sliders to make them you know, lighter or darker. I'll put a link in the top corner there when I've already gone into detail about doing this if you're not too sure. Everyone will have their own little way of doing it and prefer their own settings, but this is exactly how I want mine to look. And then lastly, you're just going to have to go into image and if you're going to be engraving this on Slate, you're going to want to invert it. And then I'm going to save that out and send that to the laser. But if you're doing it on wood, you don't need to invert it. You just keep it as is. So that's how easy it is to create anything with using AI. Like I said, there's loads of different websites you can do it. This is just my favorite just because you can get so many different results using their existing styles. Okay, so now we're going to send this down to the laser and we're going to get this done. But here's the first one. So this is the Batman one I did on the small coaster. That looks absolutely fantastic. Um, trying to get all the details in without the light reflecting too much, but I like the way the uh, the bat emblem has come out. So that one didn't take too long at all. But now this one, this took forever to engrave. This is massive. But look at the detail on that. I'm going to put a coat of clear lacquer over this now just to finish it off. And I think this is just going to, uh, this is going to go up on the wall. This looks absolutely amazing.
But yeah, there we go, guys. This is my take on using AI for laser engraving. You can get absolutely fantastic results. Just mess around with your prompts. But yeah, using the prompts that I used earlier on the video gives me fantastic results. And I can literally put whatever I want in there. And I'm going to get amazing results like this every single time. And again, the link will be down in the description, guys, if you want to give it a go yourself. So guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video on using AI for your laser projects. I am absolutely over the moon with how this turned out. I am just trying to get it so it hits the right light so you can see it without the reflections because it looks, it does look three dimensional, even though it's just a 2D flat slate disc, it does look three dimensional. So yeah guys, give it a go, get on Stable Diffusion, the link will be down in the description, check whatever you want in. I'd love to see what your results are, check out my email address in the about me bit and send me a picture if you want. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video guys. Give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, definitely subscribe because I'll be doing lots more different videos like this, different materials covering different options, and I will be doing quite a big giveaway very, very soon. Hope you have a good one, guys. Have a bit of fun with this, and we will see you in the next one. See you later.